Hello, today I wanted to cook a recipe from our Thermomix magazine, which you can get in news agencies, supermarkets, or from the Thermomix website. It's called the Quick Veggie Pasta Salad, and um, like that. This is a really good recipe if you want to just have lunch ready in the fridge, ready to go. So it's in the grab and go section. Um, yeah, so we'll just get started. So first of all is to have a, an echelot and some herbs. I'm using some oregano and parsley. And we're going to chop all that for a few seconds on speed six. The recipe said five seconds, but I could just hear that it was done after three seconds. So um, if you're ever not happy with it, you can always scrape down and do it again, but I am happy with it. Looks good to me. So I will be setting this aside. Using, I like to use the flexible spatula. The spatula that came with your Thermomix is also another good one that I like because it's nice and flexible. Careful you don't get your face in there or you get the onion happening. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to grate our Parmesan cheese. So we have 50 grams of Parmesan cheese. Just whenever you're doing something hard in your Thermomix, chop it in little pieces to just put less pressure on your blades over a lot, an extended period of time. So um, yeah, so don't just put in a whole giant chunk of Parmesan cheese. It would work, but then you're just wearing down on your blades. So I've cut that in pieces. Um, generally the recipes always tell you what to do. So to grate Parmesan cheese, it's 10 seconds, speed 10. So now I'm going to add 100 grams of sour cream and 100 grams of mayonnaise, which you can also make in your thermo mix very easily. Oh, I'll show you the parmesan. Nicely powdered, beautiful, no additives, just smells fresh. Um, you're also saving money by buying it in a block rather than grated, but it, yeah, it's healthier without the additives. Um, sour cream, mayo, and half a teaspoon of pepper. So that's being added to the parmesan cheese. So basically what we're doing first is making the dressing for our pasta salad. And I'll just scrape down the parmesan a little bit better into it. And then I'm just going to mix this on speed four, basically just to combine the cheese in with um, the liquid. Just for a few seconds. That'll do. And then I'm going to add it in with my echelon and herbs. Um, we're going to give that a stir. Looks all nicely whipped together there. So we do want all of this out because um, then we're going to wash the bowl or rinse it. Don't need to dry it because the next step is to boil our pasta. So um, it's okay to have a wet bowl. So we're adding water. Okay. So just getting out as much as I can there. That looks good. Scrape that off. So that's all out. And it says to clean the bowl. I have another one. This is what's really handy about when you've got two bowls. And we're going to boil the pasta. So I'm putting my, uh, the water. So I'm putting my scales on. We want a liter of water, which there is a liter mark in there, which you can go to, or you can just weigh in a kilo of water, whatever. And we're going to boil that. And once it's boiled, then you add pasta. So the recipe says um, boil about seven minutes or until boiling. So what I'm actually going to use is the kettle mode because that's going to tell me exactly when it's boiling. Um, so yeah, just, and then while that's happening, I'll stir this. And also while it's happening, I'll go get my pasta out of my pantry and cut up the broccoli and have that ready because we're going to steam that while the pasta boils. So that has boiled, the water is nicely boiling. So now we're going to add um, 250, Yes, grams of pasta. Um, it's pasta of choice. 
And I'm just adding some spirals because what I have wouldn't matter. And a teaspoon of salt milled in the Thermomix. 10 seconds to mill rock salt into powder, no additives. And we get that. So we want to cook this for, oh, I got to get out of kettle mode. Eight minutes on Varoma. I'm putting it on reverse, which you can find in your speed circle and on the very softest speed setting. So actually it says to go to speed two. I have never cooked pasta on speed two. Let's see how it goes. I have had this before and it um, was good. So, um, And so in the Varoma, we are adding some broccoli and I've just chopped it into little florets. So that will steam while the pasta cooks and it will be ready at the same time. Okay, that eight minutes is up. Now, when you're opening your Varoma, if you open the lid away from you so the steam doesn't come in your face and use the lid as a drip tray, you're not going to get all the mess on your bench. And we have our pasta here. Basically, what I'm going to do now, I actually always drain my pasta through my Varoma, so it doesn't matter that the broccoli's in there, really. Actually, it's fine. I can just put the broccoli in this bowl. It wouldn't have mattered either way. So I'll just drain this, the pasta. Um, basically, a colander is just another thing you can declutter out of your kitchen once you've got a Thermomix. I'll uh, give that a bit of a shake to get the excess water out. And then pour the pasta into my bowl with the broccoli. Now I just need to let this cool because obviously for the pasta salad, we don't want hot ingredients that we add our dressing to. So I'm going to let this cool for, I don't know, quite a while. Once it's cooled, I'll be back to finish it off. Okay, so it has been half an hour and I've determined that my pasta and broccoli are nicely cooled. And so now we need to be a little bit gentle so we don't break up the pasta or the broccoli, but we're just adding in our dressing as well as some cut up cherry tomatoes and a cubed yellow capsicum. It wouldn't matter what color you use and you can use other veggies if you want, but I think um, with the green from the bro broccoli, the red from the tomatoes and the yellow from the capsicum, it's um, a good color combination. If you want it to look pretty, it has a fresh summer pasta salad. Um, but yeah, you can use anything. If you want to add in some protein or like you could add in some shredded chicken or a tin of tuna, um, I think this is really good just the way it is. We ate this, My our branch manager, Tammy, made this for us at a Christmas party we went to recently. And um, that's where I tried it and loved it. So that's how I know this is going to taste delicious. Um, but that is it. It's ready. And so the recipe determines that this will make six lunches. So now um, you could serve and eat it as is now. Or if you section it out into six containers in your fridge, it's a grab and go ready um, over the next few days. Um, so I was going to put some in this um, glass container I have and just show you another thing that I love from the mix shop, which is, I just want to get a good amount. You could also sprinkle some fresh basil or something like that over the top if you want some fresh herbs added. Um, but yeah, that's how pass the salad. I wanted to show you this little cute container from the mix shop that comes with a vac seal wand so that you can keep it fresher even longer. Um, and all you have to do is wait for the little nozzle to pop, which it just did. So that's ready to store in the fridge. And we've got our, and it, as you can see, it makes a lot. So that's our fresh summer pasta salad. Enjoy.